Welcome back everyone, Dr. Ben, not a real doctor. Today I want to talk about somatics. Before we get started, I'm going to apologize for this video being a couple days late. I'm supposed to have it out on Saturday and here it is Monday. I wish I had a good excuse, but the truth is I was just lazy last week, so that one's on me. But bringing it to you today, I didn't want to not put out anything for you guys. So I recently picked up a book on somatic exercises by, it was created by Thomas Hanna, or Hanna, I think it's Thomas Hanna, and I was looking for a new way to kind of retrain the body. I have some familiarity on Feldenkrais, and this is based on Feldenkrais principles. So I wanted to check it out and kind of explore and see what it could do to alleviate pain and reprogram movement patterns picked up the book, I read through the book, the first section is the why, and then the second section is the exercises. There are only eight exercises and they're designed to be done progressively, so they build upon each other. And as you get better at one, you will reprogram movement patterns, you reprogram your central nervous system, and you release uh, patterns and adhesions and uh, basically any kind of crap that your body is physically holding on to and you will release muscles and reprogram motor patterns. It operates on the principle that there is a mind-body connection and that both physical as well as emotional issues will manifest in your body and affect how you move and create pain or movement pathologies. I've been playing with the exercises about three weeks now and I'm actually really impressed with the results. I've had some really surprising progress in just a few weeks. There are a few things that make this challenging and I would like to highlight those before we get too far. The book is well written and the exercises are all in print and they come with pictures. Now I have the digital copy, they're not in color, I read it on a Kindle most of the time. And it sometimes can be hard to tell exactly from the description and the pictures what exactly you're supposed to be doing but if you take your time and read through it, you can figure it out. The bigger issue is that ideally you wanna be able to do these exercises straight through without having to take a lot of breaks in between to reference the exercise. That means you either have to memorize the exercise before you get to it, or you have to create a recording that plays at the pace that you need to do the exercise. My hope is that in the near future, I would like to shoot some videos that actually go through these exercises so that you could just play and follow along with them as you're doing it. It's gonna take quite a bit of time to get those videos out because there's gonna be a lot involved. But as soon as I do, I'll put a link down in either the comments or the details so that you guys can find them. That's the biggest drawback to this system. Overall, the, it's, the exercises are super gentle. They're very easy, very slow. In fact, you're told if it hurts, you're moving too far or you're doing too much too soon. You're designed to do these movements very slowly every day, preferably even two times a day. I have noticed that when I skip days, I kind of regress a little bit and have to do a little bit more later. It's much more beneficial to do these exercises at least every day, even if you only spend five minutes on them. You also need to do these exercises in a very, we'll say, peaceful environment. You don't want any music playing, no TV, you don't want people running around. You really have to focus on what you're doing and feel your body. Otherwise, you're not gonna reprogram your central nervous system. Another downside with the exercises is that you really should back off intense physical activity while you're going through this whole process. I do a lot of rock climbing and I find that when I go for a really hard day of rock climbing that I kind of reset back into bad habits and then I undo some of the progress I've made. So you're also going to get a better benefit if you basically just focus on somatics until you kind of get through the program and reset everything before you start back into like whatever CrossFit workouts or you know stuff like that. Given the amount of success I've had in just a few weeks, I, I think probably most people wouldn't need a whole lot of time, maybe a few months really focusing on it to pretty much reset their body and get back to healthy movement patterns. Hannah includes what he calls the daily cat stretch, which is sort of picking exercises 
or parts of exercises from the eight exercises and putting it together into something to do daily so that you can maintain the progress that you've made from start to finish. He also recommends that if you suffer any physical or emotional trauma, that you should start back at the beginning of the program to assess what sort of physical problems have manifested due to whatever happened to you. I can tell you personally, I've tried a lot of things to eliminate the pain that my utility company job has created. And I've had the most success with this in the shortest period of time. I do like the self-massage techniques that I've taken from the trigger point therapy manual a lot, but even Claire Davies states in his manual that the key to getting out of pain is to eliminate the habits that are causing it. And that's exactly what somatics does. It retrains your nervous system so that you move in a way that no longer causes excess muscle tension. So while I don't have the videos for the exercises recorded yet, I'm hoping here in the very near future I'll have them up. In the meantime, absolutely check out Thomas Hanna's book. I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, I think the ebook was like 10 or $12. Uh, I rarely buy hardcover books anymore and it it's, works pretty well on my Kindle. So I would not hesitate to recommend the ebook. It's absolutely worth the read and worth the effort of learning the exercises. If you have any experience with somatics, share them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think and I'm sure everybody else would like to hear what you think too. If you like the video, smash that thumbs up button and share the video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And until next time, keep your life in motion.